Hi and welcome to a slightly different video today. My name is Matthias and today I'm going to show you what is inside my camera bag when I'm going traveling. Coming up! So first off, let me show you the camera bag that I'm using when traveling. This is the Loaf Pro Protectic 450 and in my opinion this is one of the most useful bags or camera backpacks that you can buy at this moment. Now, what is inside this bag? The really cool thing about it is that you can open it up from the back and you can um, rearrange the inside of the bag in any way you like. You get plenty of these dividers that come with the bag and you can set it up uh, whichever way you like. Since I'm leaving for a two week trip to Vietnam tomorrow, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys what is inside my bag whenever I'm going traveling. One of the main things that always comes with me when I'm traveling is my DJI Mavic Pro and it fits very nicely right here in the top of my bag. Now I've got two spare batteries for my Mavic and I place them right in here. The remote, up there. I use these little dividers here as cushions on top of my Mavic before I put additional gear on there. Can't really go anywhere without my Rode VideoMic Pro, which fits nicely just in here. Now I also have some filters for my Mavic Pro. I always bring a battery pack and I also have my filters and step up, step down rings for my GH5 for the different lenses I use. They're in this little pouch in here and that all goes in there. My go-to lens for my Panasonic GH5 is the Leica 12-60, which I normally just wrap in a bit of bubble wrap. And fit in there. My favorite lens of all time is the Sigma 18 to 35 1.8 art series which is a fantastic lens um, obviously to be able to use it on the GH5 I'm using a Metabones speed booster and this is a fantastic combo so this lens always comes with me when I'm traveling and it fits just beautifully right on top of my Mavic Pro. Quite important wherever you go, I always bring a little card reader with the corresponding cables, plenty of um, SD cards and that all gets put into this little uh, container that fits very nicely down here. Also very important, plenty of storage space, so I always bring a couple of um, external hard drives with me. The Lumix 25mm 1.7 is a lens that I got um, originally for shooting interviews. Um, I really like this lens also because of uh, its form factor. It's very small, very handy, uh, so it doesn't really take up a lot of space and I like to take it with me even if I don't really know whether or not I'll be using it, but it's so small it doesn't take up any space. So. It's always good to have that with you as well. My um, variable ND filter is something that I cannot live without so this always finds its way and its place in my camera bag and I also always carry a small um, charger for my GH5 batteries that is in there too. 
I like to carry a small cleaning device for my lenses goes in there and I also carry a audio recorder this is the um, Zoom H1 that I've got here this is my go-to audio recorder that I am taking with me most of the time not really camera related but also very important are my Maui Jim sunglasses don't really want to leave the house without them going into the sun so they'll find their space in there too another accessory i'm always taking with me are those small lights a couple of those these are the aperture m9 lights and they're very powerful little lights and they literally take up no space i always have a couple of these in my gear bag and i'm gonna keep them in here for now Something I'm very excited and I'm actually taking for the very first time with me on a trip is the DJI um, Osmo Mobile 2 gimbal for my iPhone 7 which is going to find its place right here, fits in perfectly and I'm really excited to try that one out and uh, give it a thorough testing on this coming trip. Another piece of equipment I was given um, to test out on this coming trip is this tiny little camera. It's the Paralent underwater action camera um, and uh, it's supposed to be the next level for um, consumer underwater videography. So I'm really thrilled to be able to take this with me and test it on a couple of dives and snorkeling sessions on the coming trip to um, Vietnam. I always have plenty of spare batteries for my um, Panasonic GH5. I've got five batteries here, one is in the camera. You can never really have enough, even though the batteries on the Panasonic um, GH5, they do last a long time, but I'd be better um, safe than sorry. The Panasonic GH5 itself, it fits nicely in the bottom of my gear here. And I've even got a little bit of space that I can use to fill up with other things. For example, since I know I'll be going diving on this trip as well, I will certainly take my diving computer with me. I will take the charging cable for my MacBook Air. The MacBook Air itself fits in this sleeve here. And last but not least, business cards. Don't go anywhere without having your business cards with you. You never know who you're going to meet and who might ask you for your contact. So very important lesson, always, 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 always have your business cards with you and they go right in there my tripod I also have that with me on this system here I can actually attach it to the side which is very convenient so it doesn't take up any space inside and I still have it with me all right and this is what the layout inside the bag looks like So there you go, a slightly different video to what I normally do, but I thought it would be useful to you to see what I pack into my camera bag before going on a trip. Is there any piece of equipment that you thought should have been in this video and should find its place in my um, gear bag? Or is there anything that you think should not come with me on any of my trips? If so, please leave me a comment down in the comment section. I hope this video was informative, useful or entertaining for you. If it was, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more travel and gear related content in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.